Hey guys and girls, what's up? Synergy here, and we are bringing you a brand new video. Now this one's going to be a bit of a different one for you. We're going to be bringing you the first raid footage that I have put up, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to talk you through it. Now, first of all, <clears throat> we got level 31s, level 30s, and then there's me on my third character. What I'm doing is my third raid now, and this is basically my level 29 titan. What I'm going to show you guys is at level 29, I'm going to be on the rocket duty on this one, but what I'm going to show you is how you can physically take zero damage throughout the whole of Crota. That's right, zero damage at level 29, guys and girls. So I hope you like the video. Don't forget to leave a subscribe if you do like it, and leave a like or a comment to let me know what you think. And we're just going to get into this now, it's a little bit loud on my computer, so I'm just going to turn that down. Right, <clears throat> so first of all, what we're going to start off with is we're going to start off with the glass that breaks. So I'm just going to chuck a rocket in there, I'm just holding back for a second. Um, what we're going to do, the only ones that can really damage you here are the acolytes, because obviously they have guns, the knights have a big knife. Which basically means that unless you go close to a knight, then they're not really going to hit you at all, to be honest with you. Right, the next part we're going, we are going over to the left hand side now. Now what we've got is we've got a setup where we've got two snipers, and we've got the rest on rockets as well, and obviously we've got the sword bearer, who is currently going to be higher dream in this one. I'm going to be bringing you videos that are going to give you different perspectives, just allow you to find this a lot more easier. Now the setup that I'm using is actually the Titan Clash, you're going to see me switching between weapons and blessings of light as well. Um, I'm basically using that A, not to take damage, and also to give the buffs for the teammates, and as you can see right now we're going to have a call out for the Galahart, and Crota's going to end up nailing. From that, what Hydream's going to do is he's going to slash down into Crota at least four times and then he's going to get his ass out of there, so nothing bad happens. Now the good thing about this is when we gather a game, we get him back on his feet and we get a good set of damage in here. Now bearing in mind that your shields will actually go down a little bit lower, as in a little bit slower because I'm level 29 so I'm not doing the same damage input but I do have a fully upgraded Galahorn which is very very useful and um, sometimes I may have to fire the two rockets at the same time and other times I may only have to fire one it depends on just having a check on the shield and making sure that the first Galahorn has done significant damage Right, so basically what we're going to end up doing, you can see the Chalice of Light now, the Chalice of Light basically will heal people whenever they pick it up, so if they do need it, obviously they'll end up picking that up to regen the health, but you can see my health is still not even a sliver of it whatsoever. Obviously I'm on the stairs, I'm in view of the knights whenever they come, but they're being sit down, well, sat down, pretty quickly by our snipers, which I believe is Nomad and Rats. And then the rest of us are Galahorn. Okay, so you can see all I'm doing here is just using that Weapons of Light buff. As soon as Hyadrine gets that sword, he's going to end up calling out to us when he wants the Galahorns. Like now, for example, if you watch Crota's shield, not quite down. There he goes, there he goes. That was pretty close, that one, guys. But we got a good bit of damage in there, we could have done this a lot faster, obviously we need the levels to be a bit higher on myself personally, and there you go, we're just going to slap him down a bit more, now what's going to end up coming is going to end up the ogres in a second, <coughs> so basically for the ogres, as you can see we're all going to burst over to here, now they do take a while to come out of that cave guys, or come out of the actual closet. So basically, you just need to chillax in here a little bit. If you do leave yourself exposed and an ogre manages to get his beam on you, it will fuck you up. No word of a lie, I've not been hit by one yet, but I've been told that it really does mess you up if you do get hit by one. 
Um, obviously the good thing about this raid is you're actually able to revive and when the hard mode comes I'm sure it will be where you can't actually revive your teammates once they are down. Although it's no problem if you've got your tactics set up right and you've got everything laid out for you. So you can see the first ogre is coming with me being 29, I don't want to be in the way too much though. I want them to get the damage on them as much as possible, so I'm just allowing them to take down the ogres. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to check the cooldown on the synth and basically what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up going to the front of this door somebody's going to pop a bubble up which will give us all the buffs as soon as we come out now we've had no oversoul, uh, oversoul is only when the sword bearer goes down or somebody else for example so we don't really need to shoot that now can you see what we waited for there guys we waited for Crota to be in a central position as soon as we were Sorry, as soon as he was, basically we darted out of there as well at the same time. Right, so we're basically moving on here and you can see Crota's back there as well. We know he's on pretty low health and here's the sword bearer, so we're just going to take him down gradually. As long as Crota's in the centre and he gets taken down, you can see the rockets flying in there. I don't want to waste my rocket at the minute because I do need to plant that in him as soon as it says Gala, there we go, and that will make sure that Crota's down. So uh, the video is basically to show you that it is possible to actually carry at least one lower level for you, and um, you do have to have quite a good team in order to do it, and there we go, Crota's finished, you can see my loop, uh, cryptographic, Crota's end, Song of Urut, and Radiant Energy times 3. So that is basically the end of the video guys and um, I'm just going to have a look through these. You can see I've got two Song of Ur Utes right now which is a really good machine gun for your Nightfalls. Um, for example this week the Nightfall is actually Arc Damage so you're going to find that super super useful because it does extra damage to Hive. That's if you've got it upgraded. So what that means is it's basically going to do a lot of damage. You can see me having a look at Boss Monster right there. We're just going to inspect him. We're going to show you the raid helmet for the warlock. It looks pretty nice. It is pretty damn sexy to be honest. And it makes me gutted that I never got it on my warlock. But while you do, some raids you have luck, other raids you don't. Simple as that. Um, I'm actually wearing the glass house on my titan at the minute. You can see, do 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 do. There you go, crow to send. And obviously the raid ships as well. I did actually get a raid drop from doing Vanguard Rocks as well. So you can actually get some pretty neat stuff from that now. Um, <clears throat> and that's really all I can say. You can see us just messing around in here. We've beaten Crota. We're having a bit of a chat in the party. And we're just going to finish up there guys. So... There's not really much more for you to watch, so all I can really say is if you did like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and peace out.